Harry and Meghan, have they finally gone Hollywood? Good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. That is one of your royal stories breaking out of London today. Now, as we all now know, of course, Harry and Meghan have now planted themselves firmly in the land of Tinseltown, possibly hoping for some of that stardust to rub off onto one of their many brands, Archwell, and all those influence ideas that they're currently planning with their mega PR teams, expensive mega PR teams, I might add. There is one project that I urge you to take a closer look at, though, and that's simply because, of course, the royal although have allegedly nothing to do with this particular project it does give you a real insight into some of the gems that back up certain elements of their story good and bad in fact my opinion after seeing quite a bit of this movie would simply be well it could actually make their cause a lot worse what am I talking about well, what I'm talking about is the follow-on from a major TV movie company called Lifetime. Now, let me just disclose here right now, I have nothing to do with Lifetime or associated companies. Simply, as I always say here on the show, I'm reporting the facts. Now, this particular movie, Harry and Meghan Escaping the Palace, is as frothy, fun and ridiculous as you can imagine, right down to the recreation of some of the scenes. My particular favourite is Her Majesty the Queen. Hmm, not so sure Her Majesty's to be too thrilled with this latest portrayal but the story itself basically picks up from the last lifetime movie but this time around shows exactly what went on through the lens when harry and megan first descended to canada and then moved forward to california but a good source working on that movie tells me that quite a few of the scenes were replicated from certain areas that some of the crew have actually worked on so they had some insider knowledge so while you may think it's all froth and ridiculous and stupid do have a closer look simply because there are certain scenes particularly in the Oprah Winfrey segment which is laughable in points but it does actually give you an insight into how it was put together and more importantly it was recreated by some of the people as I say that actually worked freelance on some of those particular segments so you are getting a glimpse of the truth and as I say again nothing to do with lifetime not getting paid this is not an endorsement but if you want to find out well the full inside story from Harry and Meghan escaping the palace and another mole does tell me that the couple themselves are quite thrilled with this if not the acting but perhaps actually the actors are better than Harry and Meghan if they're given a ringing endorsement well then maybe we should take a closer look because many of the secrets may simply be revealed Neil Sean in the heart of London